at Holland Rescue Mission and Stepping Stones Daycare. We are striving to end the cycle of homelessness and of poverty, so we have to start with the kids. Not all kids have the same privileges as some kids. That we are able to serve as a family just warms my heart. <laughs> as a teacher, it's not all about test scores. Let's think bigger into what kind of citizens we want our kids to turn into. The Stepping Stones Daycare Partnership started a few years ago. I really wanted my students to recognize that the world is bigger than what they see here. I was talking to my sister-in-law, Katie, uh, who worked at the Stepping Stones Daycare in the past at that time. And I said, is there something meaningful that would really help you that we could do? And she said, well, you could come to the mission. Then when Grace um, started, she was really eager to keep it going. Many of our kids at Stepping Stones are coming from broken homes and broken families. Stepping Stones Daycare exists to provide a safe place and not a place that's shame-filled. I've been really thankful for, for that openness that they've had and appreciate that my students can offer something to them too. So we're going to make a craft, we're going to have a cleaning group, and then we're going to have another group stay with some of our younger kids and just play with the babies. And we really go with the mindset of, we're there to serve them, so if cleaning is what they need us to do, we are enthusiastically going to clean, um, because that's our way we can serve them and partner with them. We're just cleaning some of the babies' toys and playing with them. I like to help them and play with them. Part of what's cool about the partnership is that every time we go, we take parents with us and they continue to invest in that ministry because they've seen it in action and they feel connected to it. As a parent, when I'm able to be involved in the Stepping Stones Daycare program, I can drive for the field trip and chaperone while we're there. It helped our family to understand a need that is out there and it provided an opportunity for us to be able to become involved. It's a fun place and I really like it. I feel happy that um, we can't come here again. We love you, Miss Grace. Thank you, guys. People want to share something to tell her how much we love to go. I like to kind of help them have a good character when they grow up. Just knowing that there are people outside of this building who want to come and love them is making a huge impact on what they understand about themselves and they're learning a lot of self-worth. I just think what a beautiful thing to have my students grow into young adults that think of the homeless and the mission and the ministries that serve them as something that they take ownership in and that they're partnering with. I probably started thinking I don't really know what it would be like to live here and I don't know what these kids have been through but they're happy here. It was a really fun experience hanging out with the little kids and helping out, even though I didn't really like the cleaning part that much. It's not just what we do in the classroom, but their hearts and their character matters maybe more than whether they can name a parallelogram. This is part of developing into the person that you need to be. They might have had an experience that wasn't safe or they didn't feel loved. And so the daycare and us helping them kind of showed them that they were safe and they were loved. 